Welcome to another WD Sentinel DS5100 and DS6100 how to video. Today we're going to cover sand and how to create an iSCSI target. Just to recap, we want to provide proven, reliable, and affordable solutions for the small and medium business. And we're doing that with our new line of ultra compact storage plus server. If you're not familiar with the DS5100 and DS6100, we strongly encourage you to look at our WD Sentinel S-Series introduction posted on YouTube, and we also have two other how-to videos to look at. But let's get into our fourth how-to video covering SAN and iSCSI target. SAN stands for Storage Area Network. It's basically a dedicated network that provides access to block-level data storage. Uh, think of it as a disk for your PC or virtual machine that's on the network. And iSCSI is the standard by which we use to create that network. In this demo video, we're going to show you how we create an iSCSI target or basically a virtual a set of virtual disks using the S series of WD Sentinel. Let's start by creating an iSCSI target on the WD Sentinel DS5100. What we're looking at here is the remote desktop end to the uh, um, desktop of the uh, server and we're going to launch server manager. From the server manager dashboard you're going to want to click on add roles and features. That should launch up a, a wizard that allows you to create the uh, and add the iSCSI target and uh, uh, target VXDs as a service. So we're on Windows Server 2012 R2. Those familiar with the Windows Server 2012 step would find this process exactly the same. In about three to five minutes, the service will be enabled and running on your server and will be ready to configure your client side PC. What I'm showing here is a PC that already has the iSCSI initiator installed. What you want to do on your PC or VM is to make sure that you have the, the initiator installed, that you have your network connected, uh, connections checked, and that you've checked your firewall settings. Uh, we're going back into the server manager running on the DS5100. We're selecting an NTFS volume that's already been created. In our how-to video on HDD uh, configuration, we show you how to do that properly. And so all we're doing is selecting drive D. We create the name, name and the drive size. And finally you get to select whether you want a thick or thin iSCSI provision. You can do a fixed um, uh, uh, disk or you can have it uh, grow dynamically. Now we're going to take our virtual disk and connect it to an iSCSI target service. So we give it a, the service a name and then after that the, um, the wizard will give you the option to connect it to any iSCSI initiator that you have on the network. In this case, if you recall, I already had uh, an iSCSI initiator on my PC. It found it and we connected together. It'll take a few minutes as it sets up all the services and, and uh, the virtual disk and, and uh, wire everything together. And as we wait for the services to install, I just want to remind you that there are a lot of resources online that can help you get your initiator and your target connected. I'm using a very simplified uh, environment here. You may encounter issues, uh, definitely look online for, for support. Join us next time as we have an exciting episode looking at uh, joining the X series to the S series domain controller. And we'll also be looking at how you can use the WD Sentinel in video surveillance.